Have a good day. Good morning, pals. Wow, I'm tired. Oh, hello, bunny. Are you coming to join me on the sofa? Hey. As you may know, I am quite unemployed right now. I have finished my last job at Northumbria Students Union a month ago, and since then I've been looking for work. So I thought it might be quite interesting to do a little day in the life of an unemployed person. I don't know, this might be not interesting at all for you. It's kind of a bit like a morning routine as well, although it is like half eight at the moment, so the morning's kind of already started. And yeah, kind of settling in to the new flat, into my new routine. I need routine to like function in life, so I've been like making myself have a routine. So I thought I would show that to you. So in the mornings we wake up, we take it in turns to make breakfast. It was Adam's turn today, which I'm very grateful for because I am so tired today. You know those days when you're just like, I am so sleepy, but the temptation to go back to bed was there, but I need to get up and actually start doing stuff today. Otherwise I just won't. I'll just like spend the whole day in bed. I get up the same time as Adam does for work. And then when Adam leaves to go to work, normally I then kickstart my day, but because I was so tired today, I did like just lie on my phone and like go on Instagram and YouTube for a little bit. But I'm awake now, I'm gonna make another cup of tea and then I usually do a little tidy of the flat from the night before. It's not that big so it does get messy quite quickly or like it feels messy even when it isn't even that messy. So I do a little tidy. Last week was the first week I was properly in this flat just for the whole week like doing my stuff. So after I did a little tidy I was doing a bit of yoga every morning like a little home practice either just like making it up myself or using a Yoga with Adrian video and following that. But today I'm going to a yoga class this afternoon, so I'm gonna get straight on with my to-do list for the day. Although another cup of tea is definitely needed. His favorite thing to do right now is digging in his blanket. And like, oh, he's gone now, but it looks like the blanket's in his way, but we've tried to move the blanket out the way and he's like, what have you done? That was my toy, put the blanket back. It is half 10 and I've done quite a few things with my to-do list already. I've been on the phone to Universal Credit for, that I wasn't on hold for that long actually today, which is good. Cause they, I'm just trying to convince them that I live here now, that I've moved house and that it's taking ages. So I finally managed to sort that out and managed to tell them that I've moved in with Adam now and that's all good and I've been on the phone to the train line because I was try re trying to rearrange a train as well and I've just been and um, got to wash out the machine and now I have an interview next week so I need to, they want me to show them a video that I've made for social media so I need to like look through and choose which one I'm gonna show them, Oh, hey bun, which one I'm gonna show them and which one, you know, makes me look the best. I'm looking for jobs in like social media management, digital marketing, stuff like that. Um, but while I'm getting interviews and stuff and there are plenty of jobs around, I'm like kind of struggling to find something. So I'm like, okay, I'll just apply for whatever in the meantime. And on this, on the street that we live on, um, the money shop is hiring, which does like, um, it's kind of like a small bank. It does like holiday money and that. So I need to put together a CV for that because that's going to be totally different to the CVs I've been using for all the other jobs. So I'll pull a CV together for that and email that over as well. Just see what happens. Whenever I just have toast for breakfast or toast and marmite, I always get really hungry about 11 o'clock. So I'm going to make myself a smoothie. It's lunchtime. One thing I do love about being at home all day is that I can cook stuff from fresh. So I've got a halloumi wrap today with loads of veggies. And I'm about to watch Friends. Chandler's about to propose to Monica and I'm so excited. Yeah, I didn't go to yoga. Um, I just watched a load of Friends and, ooh, autofocus, let's not do that. Yeah, I just watched like a couple of episodes of Friends. Um, and um, it would be very easy to just um, kind of let that be the rest of my day and just like, no, I'm off the bandwagon. I'm just going to keep watching Friends and not actually do anything. 
but there are only actually two more things left on my to-do list for today. So I'm going to try and do both of them. One of which is to film, so even though I'm not leaving the house today, I have decided um, <laughs> I'm going to get ready and film something because that will make me feel a lot better just to do something, like get something done. And it's very easy, like when I get in the mood like this, um, to just be like, oh, I'm so unproductive, I've done nothing with my day, I've achieved nothing, my air. But I have done quite a lot today. I am pretty harsh on myself, I set like really unrealistic to-do lists sometimes, so it's important to like recognise the stuff you have done, which is why I like bullet journaling a lot and writing to-do lists is because you can also you can see what you have done as well as what you've got to do. Like you can see the stuff that is ticked off and it kind of like yeah, recognises that you have achieved some stuff. Yeah, like I said, rather than spending the, the rest of the afternoon wallowing, um, I'm gonna get ready, film my video, edit a different video, and that was the last thing on my to-do list. And I'm gonna do like maybe or maybe I'll do like an extra long yoga tomorrow to make up make up for that. Not doing it today. And me and Adam are having lasagna tonight. So I'll start making that like when he's on his way back from work and we'll have a nice chill night because I probably need it to be fair. Like I feel kind of ill. I don't know if I actually am ill or if I'm just feeling sluggish. Um yeah, so tired this morning and I still am, like I just haven't shaken it. I don't know if that's just like Monday blues or what. My name is Tawi, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So that is all my filming done. I'm gonna go through all my footage now and organize it because I've got like loads of different clips on different SD cards and it all needs sorted out, it's a bit of a mess. Um, so I'll do that this afternoon. And I know what you might be thinking, like why am I bothering and like spending time on filming videos and editing them? Like it is very time consuming um, when I should be just applying for jobs constantly. Uh, firstly, that would be exhausting and I think I would properly burn out if I just did that without having any time to do the stuff that I enjoy and like do my hobbies. Also, my YouTube videos, or while they don't make money at all, it is experience and I am linking employers to my channel. So if they saw that there was like no videos on there or like I hadn't made anything for months, it might be a bit like, hmm, she's pretty unreliable. So at least I'm showing that I can be like really consistent and that I am still making stuff and showing what I can do, like my skills. I am aware of how privileged and how lucky I am that I have savings that I can live off, that I have Adam that helps me out occasionally, that I don't have to like just go like for the whatever job comes up I can like not be picky because I am just applying to like anything and everything that I am qualified for and that I'm interested in but yeah that that's it I can wait for jobs that I'm interested in rather than just going for the first thing although I have kind of changed my tune a little bit with going for the money supermarket job because that's not something I'm interested in at all it wouldn't be relevant to my career at all but I'm just going for it um, you know, kind of as a backup, like in case I don't get anything else. So at least I've got an income while I can be looking for other things. So yeah, please no hate in the comments. Um, I don't know, it might look like I'm living the luxury and that I'm just sitting around on my ass all day and just doing fun things that I like to do. Um, but it is incredibly stressful. I was on hold with Universal Credit for like an hour last week. Um, so it was kind of good timing when I called that I wasn't on hold for very long today. And it's like emotionally draining as well. Like when you get rejections or when like I'm getting a lot of interviews and when I go to the interviews and it doesn't work out, like that sucks. Like it really is hard hitting. And I got an email today actually from a job, from an interview I had that I didn't get because um, I asked for some feedback. They were like, oh yeah, yeah, you were really good. You were, you, you came second and it's like, that is great and all, but <laughs> that doesn't help me. Like, that's not gonna make me improve for the next one if you're not giving me proper feedback. And like, that's, yeah, that's kind of just as bad, even though it's, you know, nice to know I was the second choice. Hey, monkey, you having some dinner? 
I am gonna clean you out actually, because that is minging. I've made a significant dent in my editing that I need to do, and I, well, to be fair, I spent most of the time relinking files, which takes bloody ages, and then it didn't even work what I was trying to do. So annoyed. Is that Adam home right now? That's good timing. I'm gonna start cooking dinner. Is it? Oh, you can't get in the doors. Key's not working. Whoopsie. Oh, that's really heavy. It's funny the lights on it like it's holy. Ooh. It literally <laughs> That lasagna was really good and now we are at the moment watching Wild Wild Country which is a documentary series about a cult. Very interesting and it's got to like a really good bit so we really want to know what happens. I'm gonna end this video here. I really hope you've enjoyed this or found it useful or insightful. Um, we're just gonna chill for the rest of the evening, have some cheesecake and yeah, just relax and go to bed. Um, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments if you've liked it, if you found it useful. If you are also unemployed, hang in there. I've got your back and hopefully things will come together. I hate that saying though, like, oh, things will work out. Things will fall into place. It's like, no, they won't by themselves. Like you've got to put the effort in to make things happen. They don't just happen. Um, but yeah, I hope you're doing okay. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I make lots of videos twice a week at the moment because I've got loads of free time on my hands. Um, so hit that bell button so you get notified when I upload and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!